Hey yo gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another video. And man, I got a special one for you guys today that I've been excited to talk about forever. If you know me, if you've been around this channel for a while, you know that I'm hyped for this. But anyway guys, before we are, I'm getting today's video, I want to do my shameless plugins. Make sure you are following me on the late Twitter for all the best MMO news, discussions, and rants and all that fun stuff on my social media links to all these are down in the description below so what are you waiting for just go click them come right back to the video follow me on instagram that way i have more reason to take pictures and other fun stuff and make sure you are following me on mixer i'm doing a giveaway at 500 followers man i want to give you all free stuff but y'all gotta follow in order to get it man that's all you gotta do man follow come through the streams hang out i'm playing games like this live all the time come hang out with me if you like my videos, you'll love my stream. Trust me on that. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about it. So what I want to talk about in today's video is Torchlight Frontiers, the console experience. Now, when I say that, I want to throw um, a big fat disclaimer um, up on here. This is not the console version of Torchlight Frontiers. But what you are looking at is what I'm... 99% sure the console version is going to look like. It's basically just the UI changed up for controller support on the PC version. And the second you plug a controller into, into your PC while playing the Torchlight Frontiers Alpha, the UI literally changes to suit controller. It has all the buttons up there. As you guys can see, I have the full controller layout of an Xbox One controller here in the video and um, it runs perfectly. Everything is controllable with a controller. They definitely built this game thinking about console. Um, from what I know, it has had controller support since the Alpha um, completely, completely launched and uh, this is honestly a great sign. Now as you guys know, Torchlight Frontiers was um, originally announced for PC, PS4, and Xbox One, I believe in 2018. I don't think it was announced in 2017. I'm pretty sure it was 2018. And um, the PC was given a early access alpha, you know, to help shape the future of the game and stuff like that. And it pretty much um, turned into one of those kind of, um, it's going to evolve over time alphas. But unfortunately, the console version hasn't had any involvement in that. Now, just as a recap, um, just so you guys know, I have talked to the community manager on Twitter, um, just through, you know, public tweets. If you scroll through their Twitter, you can probably easily find their responses to me. Um, they did say that hopefully the console version will, um, will be, will be playable at around in 2020. And, um, also one of the Q and A testers did tell me on a Torchlight Frontiers dev stream that the Xbox One and PS4 versions were currently playable in the back office with online support and um the development of those ports were going very well so hopefully you know console players do get their chance to um to touch the game this year me personally i really would love the the opportunity to play this game on console i am praying praying for that um as much as you know i'm grateful and happy to have a pc but i just i want to play torchlight frontiers on console console is still my my home base gaming platform I, I want to play this on on my Xbox or you know my, my PlayStation 4 or you know whatever whatever the case you know whatever the um the the offering is so hopefully maybe you know the de developers decide to take advantage of like the Xbox Insider program you know to help get console players involved with the beta and, and stuff like that but um overall guys the game feels actually really good um just imagine playing Torchlight 2 just smoother with um, better graphics, higher quality visuals, higher frame rate, and um, stuff like that. The interesting part is when I was playing the gameplay you guys are seeing right here, um, unfortunately I'm not capable of capturing 4K gameplay at the moment, especially from my PC. But I was actually playing this in, 30, in full 3840 by 2160 p on my, um, on my PC. And as you guys can see, it is running and working um, damn near uh, flawless. It was performing, performing great. Now, um, the one gripe and weird thing I do have about this game, and I understand it's called Torchlight Frontier, so I know the Frontier system is going to be a thing, but um, I do think this is one thing the developers need to really tread carefully with when it comes to this game, because this is a very strange 
leveling system. Now, I know people are probably used to this in um, ARPGs anyway, but uh, so when you play Torchlight Frontiers, every new area, you know, with new enemies and stuff like that is called a frontier. Like, for example, you'll have a goblin frontier, you'll have a, uh, a, um, a spider frontier, or, you know, a, a this a frontier, or that a frontier. But the thing with these frontiers is every single one is, um, is like a brand new area. Like your leveling starts completely over in that area. And I just find that kind of weird because like if it comes, if it comes down to it, how will end game progression work in a system like that? Now in an interview with Max Schaefer that um, was done for Torchlight Frontiers about a year ago, he was talking about, you know, he has um, like five or six years planned of, uh, of, of content planned for Torchlight Frontiers. They even want to consider adding raids and stuff like that into the game. Um, I get, you know, and that all sounds fun, but how are you going to incorporate systems like that when the leveling is split up in a thousand different ways? And I would imagine that, you know, when they decide to add more content to this game, one big thing they could easily do adding new enemies and stuff is adding new frontiers so in the end a good thing is that'll mean new gear new weapons new relic weapons and stuff like that but it also will mean that you'll be starting over in level for that area so like um where does like your end game self stand like that's how that's what i want to know in this game like how exactly you know is the level going to work in the end? Now, granted, you know, I heard that there's um, a big a big patch coming up that's supposed to re retune and um, rebalance and change some of the systems around the game. Um, I'll update you guys about that patch whenever it um, it hits the alpha version. But um, just with the current leveling system, I'm just wondering, like, how is an end game system for this game going to work? Now, don't, no, don't take my opinion here the wrong way. I'm not against this leveling system it's just new it's different to me and i'm just i'm really curious on how this kind of thing is going to work like imagine playing an mmo and in every new area you go into you go back to level one which you know is um like i said a, a cool thing for replayability you know it makes replayability real easy but when it comes to end game how is that going to work and that's really my only big concern when it comes to torchlight when it comes to torchlight frontiers other than that i think everything else is really awesome the loot distribution is um is great everything looks vast that you equip looks vastly different um when you do get your hands on a relic weapon you can definitely you know tell that you know it's something really awesome cool and more powerful than a um than a basic than a basic weapon the effects in here are awesome the music is classic torchlight music and i love that and guys, honestly, man, you guys need to be really stoked for this game because I promise you when it finally does hit console, you are in for a treat. But anyway, guys, y'all enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tanek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care. Can I get some closure?